Hi, I'm Paula Ward and this is Easy Knitting Design. This video is on knitting and neck ribbing for both v-neck and round neck sweaters. When we knit the neck ribbing of a sweater, we start at the right shoulder and begin by picking up stitches down this back neck diagonal and then across the back we will knit the stitches if they're sitting on a holder or if they are bound off we'll pick up stitches across up the diagonal, continue picking up. Now we have a center stitch sitting on a holder. We're going to just slip that center stitch, continue picking up. We'll meet our first stitch and then we will continue knitting in the round, working our ribbing stitch. I will be working a double decrease at this center stitch on every round. And when the ribbing is as wide as we want it, we will bind off in pattern. So here's what I do when I'm knitting a v-neck. First, I get a stitch gauge for my ribbing. And I do that just by measuring the ribbing around the hem of my sweater. Stretch the ribbing just ever so slightly. I take this distance and this distance. I multiply each of those by the stitch gauge for my ribbing and I figure out how many stitches I need to pick up along both of those edges. Now these stitches are going to be picked up one for one so I don't need to measure that edge. Let's say I've picked up my stitches and I'm working the first row of my neck ribbing. I want to start the left shoulder with my knit stitches. So knit two, purl two, knit two, purl two, on a round. Now let's say I've ended with a purl two at the point, at the center. I'm just going to mirror that back up. And again, I want to end with my two knit stitches up to the right shoulder seam. That means that I want to continue my pattern on a round with my two purl stitches. That also means that the two stitches, the first two stitches on the back side of the left shoulder need to be two purl stitches. And however many stitches I have in between those two, I want it to come out to a whole number of pattern repeats. If I start my round with the purl stitches and I have adjusted my back neck stitches to equal a whole number of pattern repeats plus the purl stitches in my ribbing pattern, everything's going to work out okay. I look at the number of stitches in the back only. It doesn't, if we start and end with our knit stitches on the front, we don't need to worry about how many stitches that is. Just look at the number of stitches on the back, on the holder or bound off, whichever you've done, and the two sides. Adjust that to equal a whole number of pattern repeats plus the purl portion or the number of stitches in the purl section of that pattern repeat. So I call those the extra purl stitches. So if we were to write our pattern, we would say pick up a certain number of stitches around the neckline, slipping the center stitch, work a ribbing pattern, uh, knit one, purl one, knit two, purl two, whatever, for a certain number of inches, starting with, and again I would figure out where I needed to start in my pattern repeat, we bind off in pattern. When we're knitting a round neck, the only difference in our pattern would be I wouldn't be slipping the center stitch. Okay, on Nikki's sweater, I've measured the front neck edge, and I usually measure that little straight inch along with the V together, and pin it down. I have nine and a quarter inches on my neck edge, on the front neck edge. I've got an inch and three quarters on the back neck edge on the side, and it will be the same on the other side. So now I'm going to take my stitch gauge of five stitches to the inch. Now I multiply this one and three quarters inches by five to get nine stitches and the nine and a quarter by five 
to get 47 stitches. So I've got 47, 47 on this side, 9, and 9, and I have 38 stitches sitting on my holder. I've got a total of 150 stitches. We're going to look at just the back of the sweater. I've got 9 and 38 and 9. If I add those together, I'm going to get 56 stitches that I'm going to pick up. Now, I need the number of stitches in the back equal to a whole number of pattern repeats plus the extra purl stitches. So I've got a knit two, purl two, ribbing. That's a four stitch pattern repeat. And the purl section of that pattern is two stitches. So I need my number of stitches in the back to be divisible by four plus two more stitches. So I look at 56 as it happens. It is divisible by four. So I need to just add two stitches to that. I want to pick up 58 stitches along the back. So I will just adjust these numbers. So I'll pick up 10 on each side. And that will allow me to start with two purl stitches, work a whole number of pattern repeats ending with two purl stitches, and start my knit stitches on this left shoulder, work down to the center stitch, mirror my uh, pattern on the other side of the V, and I will end with two knit stitches. I've already got my two purls there, and I'll have a whole number of pattern repeats. Now, working the neck ribbing for a round neck sweater is way easier than a V-neck. You will measure again, but you'll be measuring the side sections on the front and the side sections on the back and you already have a set number of stitches on your back and your front whether again whether you've bound them off or have them uh, have live stitches sitting on a needle so you will count the number of stitches here count the number of stitches on your back figure out how many stitches you need to pick up on your sides by multiplying this these lengths by your stitch gauge. You'll take your total number of stitches that you need to pick up around the neck and, and you'll adjust it for your pattern repeat. You just want a whole number of patterns. So instead of messing with the extra purl stitches that I, the way I did on the v-neck, you're just going to make sure this number is evenly divisible by the number of stitches in your pattern repeat. Again, knit two, purl two, pattern is a four stitch pattern repeat. I would want this number to be divisible by four. If I had a knit three purl two pattern repeat, that's a five stitch pattern repeat. I would want my total number of stitches to be divisible by five. It's that simple. So when we write the pattern for Nikki's sweater, we'll say pick up 152 stitches around the neck, and I'll make a note 47 on the front, 10 on each side on the back, 38 on the back neck. We'll slip the center stitch when we're picking up those stitches. I will work a knit two, purl two ribbing for one inch, starting with a purl two. Then bind off in pattern. I hope you've enjoyed my videos. Don't worry about taking notes. I've put the entire system into an ebook available at knitsweaterpattern.com. Go on to part two of the neck ribbing.